Hello everyone, so I hope you're all keeping well and taking great care of yourselves. So I've designed a class for us today that will help to deal with anxiety, with stresses, with the emotional turmoil, ups and downs that we're experiencing on a daily basis at the moment. So it's a very grounding class. Um, we're going to just take it slow, try and just release any trauma that we've stored in our bodies from recent events. So it's suitable for everybody really. You will need to fully participate to be able to get down onto the floor and obviously back up again. Um, but other than that, it really is suitable for all bodies. We're going to include a lovely long relaxation at the end um, and also a short meditation also to help with uh, grounding and connecting with the earth. So I hope you enjoy the class. Um, you'll want to have at hand a yoga strap if you've got one. But don't worry if you haven't a dressing gown cord or a luggage strap, a belt even, will work just as well, it's fine. Um, something warm to put on for relaxation at the end. Um, it will be quite a lengthy relaxation, so you're likely to get a little bit cooler. Um, so some fluffy socks, um, yeah, jumper, whatever is good for you. Um, I also like to sit on a block at times just to help tip the pelvis forwards a little bit. So um, when we're sitting on in some of the postures in the middle of the class and also for the meditation at the end. Uh, but sit on whatever you're used to. Maybe you like a meditation cushion. Uh, maybe you just want to sit on a chair for the meditation. That's absolutely fine. Um, or just a cushion, whatever you've got at hand. Uh, and then if you do happen to have a, a yoga bolster, now is the perfect time when it's going to come into its own uh, because a yoga bolster is the ultimate comforter. Um, if you haven't got one, don't worry. Um, there are alternatives uh, when we get to that stage. It's only a very small portion of the class anyway. OK, so let's get on and I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start by just shaking out one hand, one wrist, just gently, gently, especially if you've got any arthritis, any joint problems, we're just gently, gently shaking. The elbow join in too. And then the whole arm, maybe taking it around in a circle, just easing out. Gently shaking away any tensions, any stresses. Lovely. Okay, so moving on to the other side, starting with just the hand, the wrist, just as if you're flicking something off of the fingertips. Elbow join into, and then the whole arm may be taken around in a circle again. That's it. But we're really into them both arms together, giving them a good shake. So we hold a lot of trauma, a lot of tension in our muscles, in our spine. And we just want to just free that up, gently release it. Movement is such a great healer. Lovely. Okay, so we're moving on to the feet now. So just giving one foot a little shake. So hold on to a chair or a wall if you need to at this stage. And just see if you can just get the foot to shake. See if I can then join the knee in as well. That's it, just let it be nice and relaxed. 
and then the whole leg, so maybe coming round in a little semicircle and back. That's it, shaking out the hip joints as well. Wonderful. Okay, and switching sides, so just giving the other foot to the other ankle a little wobble. And the knee to. And then the hip join in. So come all the way round. Little semicircles. Remember to hold on if you need to. Wonderful. Okay, both feet on the floor. And we're having a whole body shake. Just shake it all out. Imagine you're a wet dog. Just completely shake. Give your bottom a wiggle, whole body is shaking. And then keeping the knees really soft and just hanging forwards. That's perfect. And just letting the arms sweep around, side to side. Wonderful, okay. Slowly, slowly coming up. Keep that nice swing. And gradually raise up. Remember to keep the knees soft. Always keep the joints soft. We don't look at any of the joints out. Lovely. So, just swinging side to side. Just let the arms swing freely. There's no effort there. Perhaps they come round and tap the front and back of the body as they swing. And then as you take them gradually higher, perhaps the hand comes and naturally just taps the top of the shoulder. Remember to let the back heel just naturally lift off of the mat. Coming all the way up now. Keep that nice movement, perhaps imagining that you are a tree bending with the wind. Both arms at the top now, continuing to just stretch. And just pause there, bring the feet hip width apart. And reach tall, reach one hand towards the ceiling and then the other, stretching through the sides. Perfect. And then reaching both hands tall as you can, ready to move into our skiing. So we're sending the hips backwards and coming down as you breathe out. Breathe in with a little mini back bend and breathe out as you come down. So send the hips backwards. Make sure knees stay over the ankles, not forward of the toes at least. Wonderful. That's it, and a nice breath out as you come down each time. Let it all go. Super. Just check the alignment of your knees. Make sure they're not coming in towards one another. And make sure they're not popping forwards of the toes. You should feel we're warming the legs up quite strongly here. And slowing it down. Brilliant. Ooh. Nice one. Okay. So we're just going to take the shoulders up towards the ears now. Just like the honey monster, make the neck as short as you can. Tighten, tighten, tighten. And then breathe out and relax completely. Super. And again, breathing in. Tighten, tighten, tighten. And breathe out and relax. And again, okay, breathing in. Last one, make it a good one. Shorten the neck as much as you can. And sigh out. Wonderful. We're just taking one shoulder now, up and back. So those big muscles across the top of the shoulders are where we store a lot of tension. I'm sure we're all aware of that to some degree. 
And we'll just make that circle a bit bigger, see if the elbow can maybe lead the movement. And just follow that elbow with your eyes. Remember, knees are still soft. We'll never lock anything out. Okay, slowing it down. And take the feet a little wider apart. Just sort of a bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're going to move on to our infinity symbol. So hands apart to start with, and we're just going to take a moment to just focus on the space between the hands. Maybe close your eyes if you feel comfortable with that. And just focus on that space. Is there any sensation there? What are you feeling? And then start to just form the hands into a figure of eight lying on the side, an infinity symbol. If you can lead the movement with the elbow, so as the hands come up the midline, the elbow leads. And then take that infinity symbol wherever you want to go. So you can take it wide. You can lunge into it and I'm going to lift that back heel. You could keep it one side. You could take it all the way up to the sky. Or all the way down to the floor. Just keep the knees really soft. No strain and definitely no pain with anything we do. Today is all about gentle. It's not about achieving what you could do last week, last month, what somebody on Instagram managed to do. It's all about just exploring and being with your precious body and what you need and are capable of today, right now. Super. And then when you're ready, just gradually slowing the movement down, bringing the feet a little closer together. And taking the hands back to our starting position, just in front of the heart. And just again, taking a moment to notice that space between the hands. Any sensations that you feel there, anything that feels different to before, maybe a little bit fuzzy. Maybe you're just aware of some energy there. And then just placing the hands on the heart. Perhaps close the eyes and just breathe. A slow, steady breath. Lovely. So we've completed our activations. If you want to take um, some water, uh, now would be a good time. Um, obviously, have water throughout the class as and when you need to. So we're going to move on to Drew Yoga's Earth Sequence, which is the ultimate stress buster. Very grounding. We're going to be concentrating throughout on our connection between our feet and the earth beneath us. So to start, just take your feet hip width apart. Allow the knees to be slightly soft. And let's just connect with the earth. So stand tall, draw the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Allow the shoulder blades to naturally fall back into your opposite back pockets. Tuck the pelvis under very slightly lengthening through the spine. 
and just take your awareness down to the soles of your feet. Just become aware of that connection between the soles of your feet and the ground beneath you. Perhaps imagining roots growing down from your soles of your feet into the earth. And then clasping the hands together, we're going to breathe in and draw the hands up to the heart. Breathe out and lower down. Breathing in, taking the palms of the hands all the way forwards and above the head to face up to the heavens. And breathing out as you lower down. Breathing in to come up, breathing out, turning the hands and lowering down. Breathing in to rise and breathing out to come down. Breathing in to come up, breathing out to come down with a little bend of the knees. Breathing in to come up and breathing out to come down. Keep rising, letting go on the out breath, letting go down into the earth, breathing in as you rise, and out as you go. I'm just imagining a globe of stillness and peacefulness in front of you, just tracing the circle of that as the arms come down. Breathing in and then out to trace the globe of stillness and peacefulness. And keep the arms slightly in front of you, so just make sure that you can see your hands out the corner of your eyes at all times. Next time we're going to come down just a little bit further. So breathing in and then squatting down. Send the hips backwards. Coming up and tracing that globe as we come down. Up. Breathing in to rise. Breathing out. Squatting down. Send the hips backwards. Be careful with the alignment of your knees. You don't want any knees coming forward of the toes and hips going back. Just concentrating on that connection with the earth. Breathing in, breathing out to come down, connect with the earth. Breathing in and lowering and letting go. One more, breathing in, breathing out, coming down into that squat, connecting with the earth, breathing in to rise, and breathing out to allow. Super. Just take your feet about shoulder width and a half apart, but really whatever is comfortable for you. We're going to turn one foot out to 90 degrees, and the other heel is going to drop back so however is really comfortable, but probably about 60 degrees is good. You want your heel in line with the instep of the foot behind you. Okay, so we're going to repeat our same movement. So, you know, breathing in to come up and breathing out to come forward. Breathing in to come up, connecting with the energies of the earth, which we're from that back foot, traveling all the way up the back leg, all the way up the arms, right the way to the heavens, and breathing out to rise. Breathing in, 
coming in out to come forward to connecting with the earth. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. And then as you breathe in, raise the arms above, connecting again with the energies of the earth, traveling all the way up the body, right the way to the heavens. And breathing out. One more this side, breathing in. Breathing out. Beautiful. Breathing in. And letting go as you breathe out. Lovely. Twist the feet around. Front foot turns out to 90 degrees. And drop the back heel backwards. Lovely. We're turning to face that front foot as we repeat our movement. So we're breathing in and breathing out. Connect with the air. Breathing in. Nice long line between your heel and the palms of your hands. Drawing that force of nature from the earth beneath you all the way up through the body to the palms of the hands and the heavens above. And breathing out, letting go. Breathing in. Breathing out, coming forward, connecting with the earth. Breathing in, feel that energy of the earth rising up through that back foot all the way to the heavens. And breathing out, letting go. Let's do for one more this side, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, connecting and letting go as you breathe out. Turning the feet to face forwards and keeping them about that shoulder width and a half apart. Keep the knees soft. We're going to take a forward fold each time now. So same sequence, interlock the hands, breathing in, coming up. And as you breathe out, keep the back straight, folding forwards. Head comes down last and then bend the knees deeply to rise up. And out to the side as you let go. Breathing in. Breathing out, folding forwards. Bend the knees deeply as you come up. Keep the back nice and straight. Lovely. Breathing in. Breathing out, letting go. Connecting with the earth, breathing in as you come up and connect with the heavens, breathing out and tracing that globe of stillness and peace, breathing in, folding forwards, breathing out, bend the knees deeply, rising up. Raising that earth energy through you up to the heavens. Breathing out, tracing that globe of peace. One more. Breathing in. And breathing out, keeping the knees soft. And the knees deeply, raising up. And breathing out, letting go. Bring the feet hip width apart and just take a moment to scan your body. How are you feeling? What's your body telling you? What are you experiencing? Do you feel the power of the earth energies? Do you feel grounded, calmer than you were before? Perhaps you feel energy through your limbs. Perhaps you feel nothing and that's absolutely fine. Just keep looking. Well done.
Okay, so we're going to come down onto the floor for the next portion of the class, which is a yin yoga inspired portion. So we're going to be holding poses for much longer than normal. I will talk you through it. So come and lie onto your back and keep your knees bent up with your feet close to your bottom. It might be that you need a thin pillow under your head, uh, but try not to put the pillow under the neck as well. Try to keep the neck and the head gently in line with the rest of the spine. You'll also need your strap. Okay, so have that to hand. So we're just going to take a moment here just to pause and breathe and make sure that our body is in alignment. And then just gently plugging your knee into your chest. If you have any knee issues, you might be happier hugging behind the knee this way so that you're not compressing the knee joint. And just pause and breathe. Start to circle the foot, the ankle, just gently clockwise. change in direction and just getting it around the other side. Now starting to allow the foot to be still. Relax the leg once more. Drawing that knee close to the chest. And then taking your strap, just pop it around the instep of your foot, where I like to put it, but whatever feels comfortable to you. And just drawing that leg upwards towards the ceiling. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed down and lengthened away from the ears. And the elbows relaxed down onto that floor. Just hold a bit further down for your strap rather than holding up here so that we keep everything aligned. Keep a very slight bend in the knee so that the joint's not locked out. Just allow yourself to breathe and to feel. Just notice where you're experiencing the stretch. Could be at the back of the thigh, perhaps into the calf. Just notice. slow and steady. And turn your attention to the sensations in your body right now. There should be no discomfort. If you're feeling anything uncomfortable, you've gone too far. You should be happy to rest here for another minute.
them. So just releasing the belt and tucking that foot in towards the chest again. Just hold there just for a few seconds. And then allow the outside of the ankle to come to rest on the opposite thigh. And just let that knee just fall gently backwards. Engage the muscles around the ankle a little by bringing the toes up towards the ceiling. And just relax in that position, just gently allowing the knee to fall backwards, don't force it. Just relax. Take the awareness back to the breath. Slow and steady. And if you want to take the stretch further, just reaching through behind that thigh and drawing it in towards you. That's super. If it was enough to have the foot rested on the floor, that's fine. It needs to be completely comfortable for you. You want to feel a stretch, but a comfortable stretch. Again, just turn the attention to the breathing. And just notice what you're experiencing. Take your attention inwards to your body right now. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. The neck is long. into the chest. Relaxing that foot down onto the floor, close to the buttocks and then lifting the opposite knee into the chest. Just taking a moment to relax there, remembering to hold Behind the thigh, if you have any knee problems or if there's any discomfort holding around the front. Gently circling with the ankle. Just the gentle stop clockwise circle. And then reversing. Perhaps noticing some clicks and pops in that ankle joint. And just keeping the circling gentle. Allow the ankle to relax. Allow the knee to relax closer to the chest. And then taking the strap around the instep of that foot and just gently extending towards the ceiling just as far as you comfortably can. Remembering to allow the elbows to just gently rest on the floor. Shoulders are relaxed down away from the ears and the back of the head is extended long. Keep a slight bend in the knee. And find your position of a stretch, but no discomfort. Okay. 
we start to get a tall cold during this slower portion of the class. Remember those fluffy socks and the jumper that you have for hand? You can pop those on any time you like. And just keeping the awareness on the breath. Slow and steady with the breathing. Noticing what you're feeling. And just gently bending the knee, releasing the strap, and drawing that knee in towards the chest again. And placing the outside of the ankle onto the opposite thigh, and letting the heel, the knee, sorry, just gently. Relax back, engaging the ankle slightly as we take the toes up towards the ceiling. Just relaxing. If you want to take this stretch one step further, just reaching behind the thigh and drawing towards you. I like to use the elbow to just take the knee back just a little bit for a bit more of a stretch, but that's entirely up to you. You want to find that position of a nice stretch that's completely comfortable. Again, taking your awareness to your breath. Just see if you can breathe into your belly. Breathe out and relax. Slow, steady breath. Let the abdomen rising on each end breath. And falling as you breathe. Drawing that knee into the chest once more. To your right hand side and then just pause there for a few breaths or gently pushing yourself up into sitting and just 
stretch the legs in front of you. Give them a bit of a shake, hands behind you. Stretch. Super. Okay, so we are moving on to butterfly pose next. So I'm going to take your feet in front of you and take the feet together. Lovely. Allow the knees to just gently fall out to the side, however far you can go. Maybe just rock side to side a little here. And then just come to a position of stillness. Drawing up tall from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. And just gently, gently folding forwards. If you like, you can use your block here, or perhaps even a cushion, and just sit on that to just tilt your pelvis forward a little bit. It helps you to keep the spine nice and long as you fold forwards. Perhaps just tent the fingers into this kind of spider. So we've just got the fingertips and the tips of the thumbs rested on the floor as you just gently walk the hands forwards. Just hold and breathe. If the stretch is too strong for you, you might want to pad underneath the knees, maybe with some cushions or whatever you've got to hand, um, some folded blankets, whatever works. Just allow your gaze to come down onto the floor so that the neck isn't Extended. We don't want any crunching of the neck, so we want the back to remain long and at length all the way through the spine, right the way to the crown of the head. I'm just going to stay here for about another minute. So if anything is feeling at all uncomfortable, please do adjust. Walking the hands up towards you, straightening the legs out in front of you. Again, give them a little shake, hands behind you, stretch out. Lovely, just take a moment to pause. Well done. Okay, so perhaps use the block if you've been sitting on that. And just come into an easy sitting position. Just take one leg and cradle it as if it was a baby. I'm just going to rock that leg. I'm sure some of you will be a lot more flexible than me and will maybe get your toe to your nose. Um, but the aim is just to feel the stretch that is right for you. There's no end goal except that you want to just be feeling and breathing. So feeling a nice stretch that's comfortable and breathing in a way that is slow and steady. That's it, just loosening out that hip joint. Take it around in the 
the circle. Gently, gently. Up. And switching sides. So taking the other leg and just tugging it in towards you. Try to keep the spine nice and long. A bit tall. And just whatever movement is comfortable for that leg. sure we're feeling and breathing, feeling a comfortable stretch and breathing in a way that's slow and steady. And take the back arms into a circle. And allow it to rest down. Super. So we're going to take a block, a cushion, whatever you've got to hand to sit on again, just so that it helps us to tilt the pelvis forward slightly. And then we're just taking the legs out to the side, just as far as you comfortably go. Remember feeling and breathing. It's not about an end goal. It's not about a picture on Instagram. It's about what your body is feeling right now and feeling that ease. Lengthening through the spine, and then with those tented fingers and thumbs, just walking forwards to a position that's comfortable for you. Perhaps you don't walk forwards, perhaps you just sit tall, and that's fine, wherever your body wants to go today. If you feel too much strain behind the backs of the knees, just um, maybe a cushion under there, a rolled up towel, uh, anything you've got at hand. If you've got a yoga block there, um, handy or a brick, um, there handy to pop in behind the knees if you're feeling a strain. So just taking the attention again to the breath. Making sure we're breathing again in a way that is slow and steady. Just feel that ease. Feel a relaxation and an ease as you just enjoy the stretch, enjoy the pose, enjoy the time to be still and to focus on your body, on your breath. As you breathe out, letting go of any tensions, stresses, worries. And just for now, being right here in this moment. Walking the hands back closer to you and maybe just lifting the legs in to the centre. Taking the hands behind and having a nice stretch backwards again, giving the legs a wiggle. Brilliant. Okay. So we're going to finish up the yin portion of the class with sphinx pose, which is ideal for this time. It's going to really help us to open the body um, to lift the energies up into the heart. Uh, when we're tense and stressed, we tend to go inwards. Uh, but we're going to do exactly the opposite with the sphinx. So come and 
way all the way down onto your front. And just have your thumbs level with the corners of your eyes. Pushing down through the palms of the hands, slowly uncurl the spine, one vertebrae at a time, tucking the elbows in so that they come directly under the shoulders. And just take a moment there to just wiggle and make sure that you're in alignment. It should feel like an easy posture to hold if you've managed to get the elbows completely under the shoulders. And just taking a moment to lengthen the crown of the head towards the ceiling, making sure the back of the neck stays long so we don't want any crunched necks or chins poking forward. We want a long spine, draw tall, draw the ears up away from the shoulders and the shoulders down away from the ears. Imagine your hands to be cat's claws, pulling down into the mat and towards you so that you draw your breastbone forwards towards the wall in front of you. You should feel a nice stretch across the front of the chest and you should feel it in the back as well, right between the shoulder blades. We're just going to take a moment here, again to pause, take our attention to the body and to the breath. What's the body feeling? Is the breath steady? the chin parallel to the floor, just turn the head round to look behind you, sure, see if you can see your foot, wonderful, and then turning the head the other way, looking over the opposite shoulder, just gently, just to see if you can see your foot. Turning the head back to the centre, lengthening through the spine once more, drawing that breastbone forward, and then pressing down through the hands, release the elbows out to the side, and uncurling the back down to the floor, one vertebrae at a time. And coming into the crocodile, just form a diamond between your thumbs and your index fingers and rest your forehead in that diamond and allow the feet to come the width apart of the mat and the heels to just gently roll it in the legs if that's comfortable. And completely relax there in your crocodile position. Just enjoy. Just feel your breath settling down into the earth beneath you, becoming aware of the contact between your body and the earth. Feeling the contact between your body and earth with every in-breath and every out. And when you're ready, we're going to slowly come into child's pose. So you've got options here. So you can take your 
head all the way down to the floor and then slide the thigh down to the left here. If you've got high blood pressure or glaucoma and you don't want your head to come below the heart, you can just fold two fists and just rest the head onto the two fists that way. You might like to separate the legs and maybe take the arms forward so that you rest in this position, just making sure the heels, the um, buttocks stay firmly grounded on the heels as you come forward. So you might like to rest this way. My all time favorite though, and especially for times like this when um, we're stressed and anxious, is to grab a bolster. This really comes into its own here. So if you take your bolster, and then take your knees as wide apart as your mat, probably. And then literally fold forwards over the bolster and hug your bolster. Turn the head to one side and just relax. And just take a moment, whichever position you've chosen, to just enjoy relaxing in that position. Breathe and relax. Enjoy this time, this space, to focus on nothing but your breath your body, your breath. If you've got your head turned to one side, just change directions now. And just continue to relax there. Fantastic. So just slowly easing yourself out of that position. And we're going to come into our relaxation. We're going to do our waves of peace relaxation because there was never a more perfect time for that, right? So if you haven't already, put on your socks, jumpers, whatever else you need to keep warm, then now is your time and come and lie down onto your mat and we will get comfortable for our relaxation. So just take a moment to make sure that you're comfortable lying on the ground and that your body is aligned. Take your attention to your right foot and as you breathe in, tighten all of the muscles in the right foot. Breathing out, relaxing. Take all of your attention to the muscles in the right leg now. Breathing in, tightening them all. And as you breathe out, let the right leg completely relax. Taking your awareness to the left foot, breathing in, tighten all of its muscles. And as you breathe out, relaxing. Breathing in, tightening all of the muscles in the whole of the left leg. Breathing out, relaxing. 
Breathing in and tightening all of the muscles in the pelvic area now. Tightening, tightening, tightening. And relaxing on the out breath. Breathe in and tighten all of the muscles in the abdomen. And on an out breath, let those relax as well. Take a deep in breath now, expanding the chest as broadly as you can. And then breathing out, letting the whole of the lungs and chest area completely relax. Allow your attention to shift to the base of the spine now. And as you breathe in, flatten the spine towards the ground. And then do the same for the whole of the length of the spine. And on an out breath, let it all relax. Take your attention to your right hand and right arm. Tighten everything all the way up into the shoulders. And then on an out breath, completely relax. Take your attention to the left hand, left arm, left shoulder. Breathing in, tightening. And breathing out, let the shoulder and arm and hand relax. So the arms are far enough out from the body so that the palms can just comfortably face upwards. Tightening all of the muscles in your neck now, just a gentle but firm tightening. Breathing out and relaxing. Take your attention to all of the muscles in the head, the jaw, the face. Breathing in, tighten them all, make horrible faces towards the sky. And then on an out breath, allow your face to relax and the whole of the musculature in your head becomes soft and at peace. That's lovely. So we're going to move now into a movement series that's designed to bring a deep relaxation, not only into the muscles of your body, but also into the cerebral spinal fluid that controls the profound forces that link the body and the brain. So as you breathe in, rotate your feet inwards. And as you breathe out, let them soften outwards. And just keep that cycle going. Breathing in and the feet come in. Breathing out and the feet rotate out. The whole leg naturally following the foot, so the leg rolls gently in and out as the feet move. Try to set up an even rhythm. Try to allow the feet to move for the entirety of the in-breath and the entirety of the out-breath. So the feet move rhythmically with the tidal forces of your breath. And you might start to notice that there's a rhythmic expansion and softening of the sacral area while your feet are moving with the breath in this pattern. Perhaps allow your attention to rest on the sacral area as your feet and breath continue to move in this harmonic motion. That's super. So now let's include your arms in the movement too. So as you breathe in, let your feet and arms rotate inwards. And as you breathe out, let the arms soften outwards as well as the feet. Creating a rhythmic movement of feet and arms and breath. And you'll begin to notice as you do this, that there is also an opening and a softening in the space between the shoulder blades. 
And this just further allows the cerebral spinal fluid to be pumped effortlessly and easily around the cycle of life. From the brain to the base of spine. From the base of the spine to the brain. Continuing the movement, softening outwards on every outbreath. And now we're going to bring the head into the movement as well. So on the next in breath, as the feet and the arms roll in, let the head turn to the right. And on the out breath, as the arms and legs soften, the head turns all the way to the left. On the in breath, the head moves to the right. On the out breath, it softens to the left. Just continue this cycle for a few more breaths. The body is relaxed and the feet, arms and head move almost as if by themselves, empowered by the breath. After the next out breath, bring your head simply back to the centre. While your arms and feet continue to move, the head remains still now. Just allow this to take place for two or three more breaths. The arms and feet rotating in on the in breath and softening out on the out breath. One more time, the arms and feet come in, and this time the arms will remain stationary as they move outwards. So on the next in breath, only the feet will move, the palms remaining facing upwards. And you might like to begin to allow the word peace to echo through your mind. So as the feet come in, peace, peace. Peace. And as they move out, peace, peace, peace. Gradually allowing a sense of peacefulness to permeate throughout your whole body. For the last time, allow your feet to move outwards as you breathe out and now become completely stationary, resting in a pool of peacefulness. You might like to let the word peace begin to move through your body. Peace, peace, peace. Let it travel, softening the tissues of your legs almost as if the cells are in harmony with the movement of the word within you. Peace, peace, peace. Let it echo through your pelvis, your abdomen, the whole of your torso. Peace, peace, peace. Charging up your spine and all of your organs with a deep sense of strength, and life force. Peace, peace, peace. Your arms are softened and brought into stillness. Your neck, head and face too. Peace, peace, peace.
You might like to imagine now that you are lying in a pool of life force, a pool of life force that brings energy, vitality and balance into the cells of your body. And now let it begin to awaken those cells. Feel it filling, perhaps rising up into the whole of your head area, as if vitality and living life force are filling all of the cells in your head, making them tingle with aliveness. Let this living pool of life force fill your neck and travel down first your right arm and then your left as if your whole head and shoulders and arms are enveloped by a wondrous, sparkling, vitalising force of living life. Let it travel down and energise your spine and then the whole of your torso, filling all the organs in your torso with aliveness and vitality. Feel them becoming balanced and in harmony. Let it travel down into the pelvic region, bringing openness and vitality to this whole area. And then let it travel down first your right leg and then your left so that you find yourself completely enveloped by a radiant pool of life force. Every cell is alive and sparkling, energised and balanced. Scan through your body and perhaps perceive the DNA within every cell being alive, aligned and spectacularly vibrant. Allow this feeling to anchor into your cells so it can be there with you for the rest of today. And then, when you're ready, begin to be aware of yourself lying here on the floor energised and activated now. Let the breath become deep and strong. Let it become awakening and vibrant. And then, as you breathe in and out, allow your toes and fingers to move slightly. Maybe bend your knees up towards your chest and hug them there rocking side to side if that feels good, just releasing any tension in your lower back. And then rolling over onto your right hand side and pausing there for a few more breaths. And when you're ready, gently pushing yourself up into a sitting position, keeping the eyes closed for a moment. For gently opening them and smiling. That's lovely. We're going to move into a short meditation now and it's a meditation that's specifically for anxiety and stress so it's great for grounding for connecting to the earth it's a very short relaxation but we need to get comfortable for it so i like personally to sit with my legs sort of crossed one leg in front of the other 
um, and then sit on a block just to make sure my pelvis is just slightly tilted forward. So that's my favourite position. Um, if you like this position too, but maybe your knees don't quite touch the floor, you can always just pop something under them, some um, cushions or whatever you've got at hand to home, just to pop them up to make sure they're really comfortable. Um, you want to be able to concentrate on your meditation without um, being completely taken over by feelings of discomfort. Um, if sitting on the floor really isn't an option for you, it's absolutely fine to sit on a chair. Just make sure that you've got your feet flat on the floor though, or that you put something flat underneath the feet so that they can be flat down. Uh, try not to sit with your back popped against the wall or against the back of the chair. And if you do really need uh, something behind your back, try at least maybe um, put a block or something similar behind your back this way before you lean back. Uh, just so that you're um, not completely in contact with the wall um, behind you. Okay, um, so once we have found our comfortable position, let's start. So make sure you're sitting comfortably. Sit with a tall spine, relax the shoulders, Lengthen through the neck so that your head looks forwards. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable to, or if not, just half close them so you bring a sense of stillness to your vision. Now gently take your awareness to the earth, to its stillness and security beneath you. We're going to breathe towards the earth. So as you breathe in, tracing the breath as it moves through the nostrils and down towards the lungs. And as you exhale, feel the breath coming back up and out of the nostrils. Breathing in and feeling the breath moving down towards the base of the lungs and exhaling out of the nostrils. Now with each in-breath, feel your inhalation moving further down the body. The exhalation rises up and out of the nose. With your inhalation, allow your awareness to move further down towards the earth. With your exhalation, relax and let go. Breathing in and allowing the awareness to move down towards the firmness of the ground, the stillness and peace of the earth. Your exhalation brings a sense of calm and security letting go, feeling completely supported by the earth. Continuing to follow your breath at your own pace. If your mind wanders, kindly bring it back to your breath. Breathing in towards the earth, exhaling and letting go. With each in-breath, I feel more secure, more relaxed, more grounded. With each out-breath, I let go of tension and stress 
into the earth beneath me. I feel strong and part of the silent stillness of the earth. With each in-breath, I feel more secure, more relaxed, grounded. With each out-breath, I let go of tension and stress into the earth beneath me. I feel strong and part of the silent stillness of the earth. Now on an in-breath, allow these qualities to rise upwards through your body and flow into your heart. Taking your awareness into your heart, silent and still. Take a few deep breaths, knowing that you are anchored, connected, grounded. Your heart is immersed in silent strength. Stability from the earth fills you. Then start to become aware of your body as it sits here. Begin to feel the rise and fall of your chest as you breathe. Visualise your spine holding you upright. Gently rub the hands together now. Generate some warmth between the palms. And then cover your closed eyes with the palms of your hands. Gently opening your eyes into the palms of your hands. Slowly separating the fingers exposing the eyes to light and then start to massage your face with your fingertips your forehead your temples round the jaw maybe the scalp and smile Well, thank you for joining me today. This has been my first time recording a yoga class at all, as you can probably tell. Um, so any feedback, tips and advice are welcome. Please comment below if you've enjoyed it or if you've got any requests of how I might be able to help you with other videos. Um, and yeah, thanks for being here. Enjoy and hope you all have a wonderful day and stay safe. Thank you.